Illinois ban on so-called assault weapons cleared another legal hurdle earlier this month as the law was upheld by a federal court of appeals. TV6's Kyle Bales spoke with leaders from organizations on both sides of the argument to hear their reaction to the court's decision and to learn what comes next. Yeah, Brianna, now that law prohibits more than 170 semi-automatic firearms and magazines over certain capacities when it is set to go into effect in January. And earlier this month, the three-judge panel appeals court heard arguments suggesting the law violates the Second Amendment, but the majority ultimately sided with the state in a 2-1 decision. There's certain rights that we all uh, enjoy that, uh, that come with uh, limitations. The Protect Illinois Communities Act makes it illegal for anyone within Illinois to knowingly manufacture, deliver, sell, import, or purchase a high-power semi-automatic weapon, which some say violate the Second Amendment. Dan Katowski with 1AM Illinois supports the law. These weapons are not used uh, for self-defense. They're used in uh, military um, activity, and they're used to, uh, unfortunately, uh, massacre uh, a large number of people in a short amount of time. Arguments in court suggested AR-15 style firearms could be held in the same category as portable weapons of mass destruction used in war, such as Stinger missiles or bazookas. Dan Eldridge opposes the law and says there's a clear distinction between weapons of war and commonly owned guns in the U.S. It's boom versus bang. Boom is indiscriminate damage. Bang is discrete targeted fire on discrete targets. One is generally appropriate for self-defense, one is generally not. Despite the arguments for public safety, Eldridge believes the Supreme Court would rule against the Illinois law and that it may not even make it through district court as litigation continues. You don't strip law-abiding people of their property and their legitimate right to self-defense because of the depraved acts of a handful of deranged individuals. You cannot do that. Meanwhile, Katowski is confident the law will stand. I think it's, a, it's always been a well-balanced approach to protecting public safety, this initiative, and, and, and many others that are like that. And so, you know, hopefully they'll, we'll have a positive result uh, uh, if and when it gets to the Supreme Court. Now, in the, appeal, in the appeals court opinion, they said the decision was not a ruling on the constitutionality of the law or any of its ordinance. Rather, it was a decision on whether the arguments made against the law had merit going forward, in which the majority rejected allowing the Illinois law to stand for now. A provision in the law that requires gun owners to register their firearms with state police will have oral arguments made against it in the district court on December 12th. A judge is expected to issue a ruling shortly after.